As a fundraiser, it just made sense for me to run a marathon. I've never been a runner, never tried to be a runner, so this challenge just seemed like something I wanted to take. As soon as I got the idea into me, I committed to it. When I think about it, all I have to do is run. I'd say the beginning of the journey really started when we were brainstorming ideas for different fundraising events for Edufirst. We were sat in a meeting and we all went up to a board and wrote up different ideas. When I stepped up, there were several different ideas on the board from bake sales, football tournaments, auctions, sports days, going into schools and even tutoring. A lot of these ideas couldn't exactly work given the circumstances of COVID, but we still wanted to try. That's when I came up with the idea to run a marathon. I think back to that moment, writing the word marathon on the board, knowing I knew nothing of the task at hand. I spoke to another person, she was like, Berlin's really hard to get into, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because we've got a lot of really it's 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 Berlin, one of the best ones. Before. Yeah, but Berlin's... For athletics, Berlin is the best marathon. Oh, really? As a team, we looked up different marathons that I could do. We looked up the Zurich Marathon, the Tokyo Marathon, the Berlin Marathon, and even the Paris Marathon. Eventually, we came to the decision that I should run the Berlin Marathon, with it being a global sensation of an event. So following on from that, we planned the event, we planned how we'd execute the event, we booked our tickets, and now I'm ready to go. I'm terrified beyond wits, but that fear makes me put in the extra amount of effort I need to put in every single day. At the moment, I haven't quite reached the aim of mine to run 10 kilometers all in one go, but in the coming weeks, I'll run 10, then I'll run 20, and we'll increase up until marathon day. I'd say I'm 50% confident in my ability to run under four hours. I'd have to run five minutes, 40, or just above 540 per kilometer to achieve that goal, which is quite a fast time when you're considering a marathon's 42 kilometers. But yeah, if training goes to plan, then I'm aiming to go under four hours. If it was something easy, I wouldn't have done it. So because it's something new, because it's something I've never done, I decided to take this and use it as a platform to put our charity on. My name is Lookman. I'm 20 years old, from Dagenham. I'm the founder of EduFirst. Uh, education as a whole is important to me because it opened so many doors. It allowed me to gain so many experiences and opportunities. It allowed me to meet different professionals, people from different walks of life, really. So that insight for me was quite beneficial in deciding what I wanted to do and how to help other people. And people around the world don't really have this opportunity, the same opportunity that I've had. A lot of people around the world don't have it. They don't, they're not able to go around and connect with people from different professions. They're not able to gain an insight in different lifestyles and different ways of thinking. And so for me, that's why I started EduFirst. Alongside four of my friends, we decided to come up with a charity that would help people that need to gain an opportunity, the underprivileged children around the world. So we work with different organizations, work with different schools, and we help optimize education. We help improve it, giving them resources, giving them the ability to give these students that same opportunity. This next project is the Berlin Marathon. The Berlin Marathon will take place on the 26th of September, and I will be running. And for me, it represents the journey that students make just to get to school every single day. 
a lot of the students are running hundreds and walking hundreds of miles every single week just to make sure they get an education. They walk to the school and they walk back because there's not as many education places. There's not as many institutions that offer them education in their home country. So for us, we want to improve that. We want to help improve education around the world because education is a right, not a privilege. The marathon is just the beginning. It's symbolic of how we're making the effort towards gaining a greater access of high quality education for children all around the world. We're starting in Somalia, working with the Somali Hope Foundation Academy. They built a school in Somalia and are looking to expand by building more facilities for the school. As partners, we are working towards reaching this goal and in the process, this enables more children to attain the school to gain a diverse and greater access to education. I'm running the marathon to help improve the lives of children around the world. It's not for me as a personal thing. It might help improve me. It might help improve our charity. But the charity's aim as a whole is to help the children. So really and truly, I'm just asking for people to donate so we can help the children get an education. To donate, visit the website www.edu-first.org donate. Because ultimately, Education is a right, not a privilege.